Hi friends. So today's video is going to be on twin flames and the crown chakra. So I congratulate all of you because you are the pioneers who are helping ground 5D on earth. This is the way I normally greet you. But today let me say if you are a twin flame then you are a pioneer who is here to ground the 5D earth who doesn't have a choice. So I am going to start my video with this. Twin flames do not have a choice with the work they are here to do. So, so far I have mentioned a little bit, I, although I have not covered in details, I have mentioned a little bit about the third eye chakra where you are kind of completely balanced. Okay. Third eye is an area, is a place where all your karma is cleared, you are balanced. But third eye is very much inseparable from the crown. You know, they are very much interconnected. Actually, the crown chakra is a summation of all the chakras because it involves the entire brain and the entire brain coordinates all the chakras. So, crown is basically... Uh, all the software of all the chakras put together is crown and third eye and crown are intimately connected because the third eye chakra actually is in the center of the brain the midbrain and crown is supposed to be on top here some people say it is behind like this okay where the brahmins have the ponytail you know so some people say it's behind but some people say it's right on top here okay and I have felt the chakras here right on top and I also felt it behind I have a feeling it kind of moves you know I kind of moves from here to here okay because I also feel a huge disc spinning around me like a huge disc spinning around me which is at the back okay and crown chakra is not like this small or something Crown chakra is a very big chakra. Okay, it's a huge chakra. So today I want to talk about twin flames and crown chakra because I've had an experience, an experience that was new to me, an experience uh, about which you won't find on YouTube information. Okay, because this is my personal research and that's why I've started this channel. To bring in the new information, to share the new information and also to learn from others. Because just like I am sharing, there are other people also who are sharing who are on the twin flame path and not every pair is the same. Not every twin flame pair go through the same stages. Okay, so there are different types of twin flames in different stages that they have to go through. Now, the crown chakra is known in literature as the main chakra that stores all our karma, you know, our prarabdha. Because it's like the uh, central office. It is the central office that actually manages your reality projection, your hologram. So if the main office is here, which is a crown chakra, obviously the programs of the hologram are stored there are dictated from there are stored there okay and my third eye chakra is pretty balanced and recently during the past few days my crown chakra has started balancing out okay so now I've spoken that I am an ascended being okay but although I have cleared my ancestral karma and my karmic monad and I've got liberation but what is happening right now when I say my crown chakra is balancing is my twins karma that is coming through and it is the second part it is second part of the ascension journey my ascension is done now I'm doing my twins ascension for him and God knows why we have to do all the work I know this is such a cliche statement but you feel it guys you feel it because your other counterpart has grounded in his reality, you know, and you are very seasoned in this life, in this matrix. And it's like you're just doing the work and you're doing the work and you're doing the work and you're doing more work. You're doing 
your work, you're doing other people's work, you're doing his work. And then you don't have time to grind. You're not allowed to ground because you have taken this huge responsibility of doing this huge amount of work for both of you. So when the crown chakra purging began, I talk about two symptoms. The first symptom was pain in the crown chakra. Okay, There is a very sharp pain in the crown chakra and that pain is like a, a sharp knife that is being thrust into your head seriously so this pain comes and goes it is not consistent but it's very sudden and it is repetitive and it is painful okay but what is happening the positive side of it is when the crown chakra starts to balance you have the pain but at the same time by the kundalini by the time the kundalini has reached there at the crown first of all it has taken half your lifetime okay let me come back to the point by the time kundalini reaches to the crown okay you are into a samadhi state okay so in samadhi the pain kind of becomes bearable you are aware of the pain, you are aware of the intensity of the pain, but what happens in Samadhi is you are able to be present to the pain. It's like having some extra strength or something, you know. It's like having a whole new level of endurance. Whereas otherwise that kind of pain would throw you on the bed and you need to like sleep or something. When, when you are in Samadhi, you have a whole new level of endurance, okay? You can tolerate a lot of physical pain, a lot of mental, emotional pain, okay? So your endurance level just goes high. So that's how you can manage the pain that occurs in the crown chakra when it starts balancing. Second symptom of crown chakra balancing that I'm going to share in my video today is the purging of the separation pain of the twin flames okay and that is the reason why today's video is not titled just crown chakra it is titled twin flames and crown chakra okay because what are twin flames twin flames are two souls that have been butchered into two separate bodies okay and i'm using my words very carefully because they are based on a lifetime of experience so I was talking about the purging process. If you all have done enough research, okay, you know that a lot of twins talk about the twin flame separation pain, okay. A lot of teachers also talk about the core wound, okay, the core wound. Now the core wound or core wounds, sometimes there are core wounds in more than one chakra so it's plural the core wound okay and the twin flame separation pain is kind of similar but I cannot say it's completely similar okay because while the core wound is specific to one particular chakra Okay, or two, two specific chakras, right? The separation pain of the twins, the trauma, is stored mostly in the crown chakra. Okay, as per my experience, I've been going through this purging process, and the pain that is there in the crown chakra, right? is off the charts i'm talking about the emotional pain okay and during these days as i was going through heavy purging of my crown chakra not only was i feeling the pain of separation 
from my perspective but i was feeling the pain of the soul separation from my twin's perspective and i was also feeling the separation pain of the collective you know so you feeling it for yourself you feeling it from your twin's perspective and you also feeling it on a collective level because this has been done to humanity to the masculine and feminine on a collective level okay because the collective markaba of planet earth of gaia has been distorted right and for this reason basically we have to take on this intense pain so that we heal it within ourselves we can come into the frequency of unity consciousness and we tune the collective to this frequency and that's how we heal gaia's markaba okay the masculine and feminine energetic separation and distortion of the planet earth right so let me get a little bit further into it there's nothing much to talk about it really if there is more information coming through i will probably share it here but i can just say one thing that so far in my life i have done a lot of purging during my ascension journey but i have not experienced the kind of experience that i had in these few days when my crown was balancing you know and when the chakra balances what really happens is a lot of karma shedding happens okay and kundalini of course rises up and it balances the chakra the crown chakra right so kundalini is actually clearing the karmic debris kundalini is clearing the trauma of the separation that exists in your crown chakra so what really happens is when the twin soul when the one 5d being is split into two halves to descend into 3d into duality okay that split the trauma of that split really disables disables the mind in many ways i was also shown during this time a movie clip okay and it was the movie called joker and it was about harley quinn okay who is joker's uh, girlfriend she is in love with the criminal joker and then she becomes harley quinn to sort of heal him okay she thinks she's wanting to heal him okay but what has actually happened is he has taken her down to his level okay he has damaged her brain just as his brain and his mind was damaged in his childhood so joker became joker because he went through a lot of physical mental emotional abuse as a child with his single mother who was also narcissistic so you have the joker and then he meets harley quinn who is a psychiatrist okay and she's assigned to the joker when joker is in prison and she falls in love with him there while trying to fix him and she actually helps him to escape okay after he escapes he kidnaps her and he basically messes up her mind he basically messes up the brain okay so that scene i was shown during these days okay and then i realized that how intense this journey is okay because this is uh, an actual separation on the level of the chakras okay so there are huge blockages in the crown chakra due to which the two souls are separated okay and my video is focusing on the reunion okay the internal reunion okay and i'm really not attached 
to how it's going to manifest on the outside. I can say that I am in a state of non-attachment, in a state of pure detachment, okay? And I am in a state of uh, total surrender through the balancing of my third eye chakra. And that is why the next chakra has started to balance right now. Because until the third eye is clear to a certain degree, the crown doesn't open up, right? The crown doesn't, I mean, it has already opened up, but it doesn't start uh, balancing. Yeah. So during this time period, I could actually sort of get into my twin's head, my twin's consciousness. And for the first time, I understood him. You know, I mean, we all judge the Matrix Twin, guys. But now what I'm going to tell you, the Matrix Twin is a very beautiful soul who is just trapped. Okay? The Matrix Twin is a powerful divine soul, just like the spiritual twin. But he's trapped in a certain system of programs that mind controls him. Okay? Because in the case of the matrix twin, they are into multiple relationships and addiction. Because of the huge pain that they feel every single day of their lives, every single night of their lives. And it is a chronic pain. It is a chronic pain. So addiction is a form of sedation. Addiction is a form of coping mechanism. And this is not common with every other person so that you can go to a doctor. Although my twin actually went to a doctor several times. The doctor just prescribed the medications, you know. But they can't, they can't balance the crown chakra which the divine feminine can do for her matrix twin. The doctor will just give you medicines to reduce the pain on the physical level. And long term usage of such medicines can be harmful for you. Okay. But this is the level of intensity and I remember my twin was telling me that he is having headaches. Okay, that he is having headaches and he had to take medicine for headaches and he had to take medicine to sleep. Okay, and this is another aspect of the crown chakra. If your crown chakra is not balanced, you can have depression. And you can also have issues with sleeping, okay? You cannot uh, sleep well for the night. So during the night, you're not really sleeping, okay? So this is happening because of the crown chakra imbalance, right? So for the first time in my life, I actually saw and understood my other half. And that was a complete opposite of the painful and judgmental attitude that I had towards him, okay? And let me tell you that I think both these perspectives are completely valid, okay? One, the judgmental attitude that I had for him is completely valid. And the other one, which is being in his shoes, you know, empathizing with him, that is completely valid too because both are real one is from my perspective as not understanding him not 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 really being in his mind okay it is very difficult to understand a person from the outside it's only when you enter into his consciousness because twins merge at the crown chakra okay so the more you are in a state of merging, the more you can empathize with your twin and realize actually what's going on with him. Because first of all, they cannot communicate and it's very hard for them to explain to the second person. And these things are so new that people rarely understand these dynamics, okay? You cannot tell someone that my crown chakra is imbalanced and I'm having sleep issues. The other person will simply say, just take some sleeping pills, okay? So people are not really understanding these dynamics because they are coming from a purely physical level. They are not coming from a multidimensional level. 
then on coming from a multidimensional perspective you have to talk interact share only with a specific community the specific type of people who can really get you on that level okay so this is very important so the balancing and the purging of the crown chakra is a huge deal okay and is the most painful experience let me tell you because sometimes what a body does let me tell you here is when kundalini is rising it is clearing all the traumas it's clearing all the stored emotions okay basically just says a lot of stored pain okay so when it is too intense to bear as a coping mechanism the body induces a sexual urge okay so at that moment you should never give in to the sexual urge okay because the sexual urge is just a coping mechanism to distract you and which will also give you relief immediate relief from the pain because then the kundalini stops rising okay so the body will do anything just to get you out of that painful state but the relief and the good news during this process is that as the kundalini rises although you are in intense levels of pains you also enter samadhi and as i said in samadhi you can be present and being present to the pain is the most important step to ensure that the kundalini rises and does all the trauma clearing does all the karmic debris clearing okay and so this is basically what my video was today about sharing about the pain of separation right okay because i feel from my experience it's stored in the heart in a different form okay but it is stored in the crown chakra in a very different form okay and how can i differentiate th these two forms the pain in the heart chakra which which is re related to the wavelength separation is more on the emotional level okay but the pain that's stored in the crown that purges is more on the level of you can see the tearing apart of the soul bodies okay see the pain on the physical body level is one thing the pain that is on the soul body levels is a very different thing okay it's it's it creates a lot of anxiety it creates a lot of instability in your mind okay and i'm still observing it i'm still trying to be present to it so that i can describe it better okay but i can just tell you so much that it is very very intense so intense that your body induces coping mechanisms and sometimes you can even just spill okay these are just coping mechanisms but the more you you clear and balance and the more you practice samadhi during your meditations or get into samadhi fast okay the more you are able to analyze be present and just uh, allow the process to happen without letting the pain like stop the process okay you shouldn't let the pain be an obstacle okay like for example when an important operation is being performed the doctor will give the uh, patient anesthesia okay because they want to the, they don't want the pain to create hindrance in the process right so that entire aspect is cleared up so you have to find a way to manage the pain of the karmic clearing that the kundalini induces okay and maybe you can light certain kinds of incense maybe you can even eat a certain kind of diet okay i'm not sure but you can do more research on it but let me tell you that the separation pain of the twin flame soul is stored to a great degree in the crown chakra other aspects of crown chakra have got to do with a basically a balance between masculine and feminine and also the balance between spirituality and grounding spirituality okay crown chakra as you know is a place where shakti meets shiva crown chakra is where the twin flame merge happens 
सो हियर योर बैलेंस कार्मिक एंड हियर यू मॉज द मॉजिंग प्रोसेस हैपन्स इन द क्राउन इट्स कॉल्ड बाय सम टीचर द सिक्सटी एंड सेवेंटी मॉज द थर्ड आई एंड द क्राउन चक्रा मॉज ओके बेसिकली इज द ब्रेन हेमिसफेरिक इंटीग्रेशन ऑफ द लेफ्ट ब्रेन एंड द राइट ब्रेन ओके एंड दिस डजेंट हैपन ओनली एट द क्राउन चक्रा वेन द क्राउन स्टार्ट बैलेंसिंग डजेंट हैपन ओनली हियर द ब्रेन हेमिसफेरिक इंटीग्रेशन इज गोइंग ऑन वेन ऑल द चक्राज आर बैलेंसिंग ओके एंड बाय द टाइम ऑल द कर्मा इज क्लियर फ्रॉम द सिस्टम फ्रॉम द सोल बॉडीज द टू ब्रेन हेमिसफेयर्स हैव मॉस्ट आई ई द टू सोल्स ऑफ द ट्विंस हैव मॉस्ट The crown chakra actually stands for authentic spirituality. A lot of people who are into cults that are fake, that are far away from the truth of existence, have major crown chakra blockages, and this can manifest as religious extremism, fanaticism, people committing suicide because of some religious belief system. Okay. or the other manifestation of crown chakra blockages can be complete completely being atheist okay not having anything to do with the spiritual realms at all another form of crown chakra blockage manifestation is the negative use of occult the negative use of spiritual truth knowledge like for example that is practiced in luciferian cults okay which is a lot of uh, vampirism a lot of parasitism like you know you basically derive energy from sacrificing animals and whatever that you can find crown chakra is also responsible for motivation levels okay ideas grounding any idea and the most important aspect of crown chakra because here all the karma is stored and here after the balancing of the crown chakra you get merged in the divine okay and all your karma is clear you free you liberated this is the chakra of moksha this is the chakra of mukti so crown chakra is the chakra responsible for grounding the fifth dimension crown chakra is the chakra responsible for pulling in the 5d non karmic timelines again it's a combination of all the chakras because all all the chakras all the programs have to be functioning in the right balance in the right correct source program in order for you to pull in the 5d timelines okay otherwise you are having cords to the lower timelines and unconscious aspects of self that don't allow you to take the right decisions that don't allow you to function the way you were designed to function as a source being so the crown chakra i have explained to you so many things about the crown chakra today and if you have some very interesting comments of your experiences you can please put them down and if you are going through any crown chakra balancing any symptoms that you are feeling a lot of people talk about crown chakra balancing but they are not twins okay when twins go through crown chakra balancing it's a different story okay and it deserves uh, sharing it deserves to be spoken about in the community okay because remember they are split souls and the splitting trauma is stored where in the crown basically and the merge happens where in the crown the twins merge in the crown and when that merge happens you can actually there are two souls living in one body okay something like cruella okay you know the movie cruella if you don't know then just go and check it out okay there are two complete separate personalities that exist in one child the child is born and very incidentally you know one half of her hair is white one half is black okay and nothing represents twin flames better than black and white which is also ketu and rahu and which is the example that i give you right now cruella okay 
so with this i am going to end my video today if you like it please give it a like subscribe and share if you would like to book a session book a session with me if you'd like to commission a portrait and check out my artworks the links are given below please check out those links if you feel guided to feel free to donate because i share a lot of information here okay and it just makes sense to give back when you receive okay so with this i would like i'm signing off and i wish you all the best for your soul merge process okay bye for now